If you catch, keep, and consume walleyes, you know just how good the meat can taste. I mean, you probably wouldn't have clicked on this video if you didn't share that opinion. But you can do a whole lot more when it comes to just your average walleye fish fry. Have you ever heard of eating the cheeks? Now, I know many of you have, but for those of you that have not, allow me to enlighten you. So first today, we're gonna to show you how to remove the cheeks, and then we're going to create a lemon garlic butter walleye cheek pasta that is easy, delicious, and will have you smacking more cheeks than Will Smith and Oscar night. Keep my walleye cheeks out your mouth! It's too, it was too easy. It was just, it was too easy. All right, so the first thing you wanna do obviously is locate the cheek. You got the gill plate here, that's hard. You can kind of see the outline of the cheek here. And this is kind of shaped like a bowl, concave for you geometry majors. What you want to do is kind of take your knife, this is going to be the softer end, and if you try to poke into that gill plate, you're just not going to be able to do it. So we go into that soft end, again if I poke in here I can't get in there. And once you kind of enter the cheek, keep your blade at an angle to ride that curvature and you're just scooping around and then once you get over the top there's a little bit of a bone there jump over that scoop underneath a couple slices just to get down to the skin take your fingers and rip it right off. There's your cheek. So let's do it again. Obviously first thing is, you know, whatever's comfortable for you inside of the placement of the fish. We're going to this top side first. Yeah, a little bit harder to find the spot. Once you enter, we're scooping around. Getting on the under surface. Cut towards the skin. And peel. There's two cheeks. That's a little bit smaller fish. I'll show you one more time here on the bigger fish. You guys out in Lake Erie, with those big fish that you're keeping, you can get some massive cheeks off those fish. So again, we're gonna go top side with this one. Always find it easy to kind of hook into the eye there. You're never, if you keep your knife angled down, I've never slipped and cut myself. This is kind of breaking the rules of potentially cutting towards your finger, but it's really the only way you can do it. Again, if you keep your knife angled down, you're gonna avoid your finger. You can kind of see here, if I try to go in higher, it's too hard. So you can kind of poke around until you're able to kind of get in to that cheek meat. Right there, skip over the top of that bone. We're scooping around. That nice fleshy part underneath. Peel it back. Little slice down to that skin. Peels right off. Nice piece of cheek meat there. All right, one last time here. Going in that soft part. Scooping around, jump over that bone, peel it back, cut down to the skin, peel it right off. Now that is cheek gold. Into the bucket. So if you've made it this far in the video and you say, I don't have any walleye cheeks, 
we'll go ahead and use some scallops because that's actually what this recipe is from. If you are going to be utilizing walleye cheeks, it might not be a bad idea to check your local regulations to see how many walleye cheeks you can actually keep. Today we're going to be utilizing 20 walleye cheeks off of 10 fish, but the sauce we're going to make will support much more than that. This recipe requires 4 tablespoons of olive oil, 4 tablespoons of butter, 5 cloves of minced garlic, but since I'm lazy and my Uncle Carl gets nervous when I chop things in my videos, I'm using the bottled stuff. 2 tablespoons of lemon juice from one lemon, 1 quarter cup white wine, salt, pepper, and some fresh parsley and shredded parmesan for topping. Start by pad drying the walleye cheeks. Take it from me, water and oil don't mix. Season with salt and pepper. Over medium high heat, add two tablespoons olive oil and two tablespoons of butter. Drop in your walleye cheeks and fry. Time is dependent on the size of the cheeks, so these little guys only took a minute. Flip and crisp the other side. These bad boys pop a little bit when frying in oil, so a wardrobe change and PPE were necessary. Now remove the cheeks and set aside. Now go ahead and discard the oil and butter for frying up your walleye cheeks, but leave the little crispy pieces in there for flavor. We're going to add two tablespoons of oil and two tablespoons of butter to start the sauce. Add your minced garlic and heat over medium for 30 seconds. Be careful not to burn it because nobody likes bitter garlic. Pour in a quarter cup of white wine. Squeeze in your lemon juice. And get those seeds out as well. Now season with salt and pepper. Now if you want the sauce to be a little bit thicker, go ahead and add some heavy whipping cream or some cornstarch. Turn off the heat and add your walleye cheeks back into the pan just to warm them a bit. Toss in the nudes and cheeks with sauce. Roll them around a little bit to coat. Sprinkle some freshly shredded Parmesan and chopped parsley. And if that doesn't make you want to save those cheeks from now on, I don't know what will.
So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please subscribe and comment. And I think I hear the kids and the wife pulling up. So we're gonna eat these walleye cheeks. See you next time.